Trump envoy is selling out Afghanistan in Taliban peace talks senior Afghan official. Breaking news. A top Afghan government official on Thursday blasted the Trump administrations, accusing a U.S. presidential envoy of shutting out the Kabul government and betraying the trust of a close ally. We asked if President Donald Trump's envoy for reconciliation in Afghanistan, Zalmi Khalilzad, was consulting the Afghan government on his talks with the Taliban insurgents, Maib said no. He added they the commanders of Afghan security forces were deeply concerned about the situation, Maib said. How? The Afghan government was asked to send a negotiating team to recent talks in the United Arab Emirates to take part in possible three-way proximity talks among the Taliban, the United States and Kabul representatives, he said. But the Afghan rep it. His extraordinary criticism revealed a bitter divide between the two countries at a moment when the Trump administration is pushing hard to broker an end to the 17-year-old war and allow for the withdrawal of American troops. U.S. lawmakers from both parties and some former U.S. diplomats have warned against a hasty negotiation with the Taliban that could amount to an American capitulation. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani previously has spoken of the risks of moving too hastily to cut a deal with the Taliban and warned Washington not to sideline his government in the talks. But his national s- we Khalilzad has been considered a possible presidential candidate in Afghanistan in the past, and has held discussions with opposition Afghan political figures in Kabul, he said. They a State Department official, who was not authorized to speak on the record, dismissed the allegations. Mr. The White House did not immediately return a request for comment. Khalilzad and other U.S. officials have said repeatedly that the administration has consulted with the Afghan government throughout the discussions with the Taliban and is seeking to create the conditions for direct talks between the Afghan government and the Taliban. But sources familiar with the talks say Khalilzad's team has pushed Ghani to engage more with opposition leaders to forge a broader team for peace negotiations, and believe the Afghan president has grown isolated politically. On Tuesday, Khalilzad wrapped up another round of talks with the Taliban in Doha, saying they had a draft agreement on two key issues you the withdrawal of U.S. troops and the insurgency's commitment to break ties with al-Qaeda or other terrorist groups. It's. He also said that nothing. Trump has made clear he would like to withdraw U.S. troops from Afghanistan, and his desire to end the American military presence has led to a diplomatic full court press to end the war. But Maib said the Afghan government was skeptical of public statements from the United States or Pakistan that the talks had produced progress. We. Taliban leaders have long refused to hold face-to-face -face negotiations with the Afghan government, which they portray as a puppet of the United States. They have also insisted the number of U.S. troops in Afghanistan fluctuates but the Pentagon says about 14,000 are currently on the ground, advising Afghan forces and carrying out counter-terrorism operations against al-Qaeda or Islamic State fighters. Maib said if the U.S. wants to withdraw its troops, the administration could discuss this directly with the Afghanistan government, under the terms of a bilateral agreement between the two countries. By holding extended talks with the Taliban, Washington was undercutting its ally while lending credibility to an adversary that had claimed the lives of thousands of Americans and Afghans, he said. We Although Khalilzad is officially the U.S. envoy for reconciliation, Maib said he